So this is my review of the uh, Ultra Saber's Dark Menace with a few tweaks uh, that I purchased. This is the first ever Saber that I made. This is also the first ever Saber review video that I've ever made. Um, so let's see, where do I start? Oh, obviously here it is. Uh, this is a little bit different from the actual variant, the, the, the standard version that's on the site. Um, but by the way, this is based on uh, Darth Maul's Saber. So obviously this is only a single blade. You can also get two of these and with a coupler here and have a full full length thing with two blades on either end. But that's just more blade than I really needed. So, um, And I also added on this uh, this pommel, this is a special pommel. I wanted a more, little more silver to the uh, to the look of it. The actual here's just the actual one that comes on here. It's a little bit shorter, so this adds a little bit more, a little more length, a little more character, I think, to the blade. Um, I also wanted to get the, the, the silver underlay here for the wind gnome no, for the top of the emitter, but they were out of those, so this is what it shipped with, which is fine. And I plan to replace one of these screws with a silver one. Um, not sure you can see that there, but I love the weight of it. It feels real. I mean, I, when I went with Ultra Sabers, I didn't want to get something that was going to be feel cheap or or like a toy. And not that obviously this is not an actual working lightsaber, as far as I know. I mean, it doesn't can't cut through with this table, but you know, it really feels solid. It's a great. It'd be a great cosplay item. Great prop. Great. It's just or just great to sit around messing with, I suppose, would be the right word. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've got the uh, anti-vandal activation switch here. It doesn't light up. You have an option of getting it lit up, but I, I thought that was just a little bit too much um, for what I wanted. Uh, this also comes with a little belt clip here that you can hook on. Um, the thing that I think makes this saber, for me anyway, is just the sound. I mean, it just sort of feels. I mean, this is. Uh, you know, I've seen sabers without sound, and it just—it's just something's obviously missing. So it's. I've got, got the settings a little bit low. You can alter the, the sensitivity. Um, but I'll show you that in a little bit more. Got the windows here, which is nice. Um, little blade cover, cover edge. I'm not sure if I should shine into the camera or not, so I won't do that. And then obviously there is a blade that comes with it, which I'll put on now. Um, that's it here. I got the, uh, this is a mid-grade blade with Ultra Edge, which apparently is, it's a bit better for blues or greens. And the color comes out better on this. Um, and then again, the mid-grade, it's pretty solid, but it's, it's only for light dueling, I'm told. So, not for... Not quite ideal for home defense, but still pretty good. Um, so this is, this comes off pretty easily, just on the screws here, and there's a bit of messing around. By the way, uh, I got the Obsidian 3 soundboard, which is not quite their most advanced right now. It's only got, like if I, if I there's an Obsidian 4, I think, which has more, um, more sound banks, so you can add in different, uh, what they call sound fonts. But that was really more than I needed for for my first first saber. Um, so you unscrew those little things. This is the blade uh, or the emitter cap that keeps you from completely blinding yourself if you look directly into the um, LEDs there. By the way, that's a uh, let's see, what do they call this thing? I wrote it down. Um, try. I got the tri option or the tri LED option, which is, is brighter, but it doesn't allow for um, effects that they can. It's called flash on clash. If you knock the blade against something, it'll actually flash. This so this uh, sacrifices that ability to actually have the, the blade glow glow brighter, which which I liked and wanted. So I just sort of slip that in here, and then tighten it. And presumably, once the uh, the silver underlay, which is this thing here, is back in stock, that will be coming my way. Uh, let's see. 
granted this is not exactly ideal for suddenly putting the blade in if you're out cosplaying somewhere you can you know it's technology hasn't quite advanced to the fact that you can just push the button and have it pop out or have it attached but you know so it just goes on there and then This is a modular hilt, so which actually has the. I got the modular LED option, so I could have unscrewed the under the, uh, the underlay here and actually disconnected the LED and switch out a different one, or for a different color if I wanted that. So there we got that, and so here we'll just uh, turn that sucker on. Which I think is. Good. You've got uh, if you hit the, hit the button down, there's like sound effects for for dueling if you wanted that. Clash effects, which sound pretty good. Let me just uh, hit the lights here on this one. And that's what happens when you hit against the wall. Or against your chest. <laughs> 